Cumber reports this latest stage is expected to create 1,500 jobs. Could this be one step closer to connect Oxford and Cambridge? The government's latest £760 million investment will cover construction costs between Vista and Milton Keynes, a welcomed move by East West Rail's chief executive. We've seen some early works on that section of the route, and so people who live in the Bletchley area will have seen works that we'll be doing on Bletchley flyover, uh, and they've seen some early works that are taking place, uh, taking place at uh, Winslow. Uh, but this is uh, underpinning the full construction activity that's needed to, to reopen that section of railway. So very welcome investment uh, in this part of the country, um, and as I say, signals the government's ongoing commitment. But how environmentally friendly will it be? Labour MP Daniel Zajna urges the government to rethink about using diesel. Well, we, we know how difficult it's been um, to convert many of our existing railways um, into a, a 21st century environmentally friendly system. It just seems to me crazy to be building new railways which aren't electrified in the first place. And I really hope the government will reconsider. The Department for Transport say there's potential of running without these traditional overhead wires and instead introduce new technology. Nonetheless, the Secretary of State Grant Shapps says this project is crucial for communities to level up. We're taking two leading universities that have done so much in, for example, the battle against coronavirus there, linking up those academic powerhouses uh, by putting railway line back between them, the varsity line, varsity line closed 50 years ago or more, uh, which will be up and running again. I think that's something that everyone can get behind, not least because it produces 1,500 jobs just in building it alone. Although there have been some delays, they're hoping this marks a step in the right direction. Now that the government has really got behind us, we'll see very rapid progress and you know, looking to make sure that those services between Oxford and Milton Keynes are in operation by 2025. So I think you know, very good commitments now around timescales for the first stage of this project and I'm confident that the other connection stages will follow on uh, beyond that. This initial investment will help get the route up and running and bring them closer to unlocking access to jobs, education and housing between Oxford and Cambridge. The Ochcomba, Beepsilic East.